What's up guys, it's Cookie Junkie here, back with another dose of the very delicious raspberry pie. This is running Raspberry MC, and today I'm going to show you how to configure and sort of use XBMC Remote on your Raspberry Pi. This basically means you can use your iPad, iPhone, iPod, or any Android device to operate the Raspberry Pi without having to use a keyboard or a mouse, which is just much nicer and much simpler really. So, what we're going to need to do is download the app, the XBMC Remote app. You can do this simply by searching it in the App Store. I'm not going to patronise you on how to do that, I'm sure you're all aware. Once you've downloaded it, you want to go to this screen here. If you don't see this little sort of window, you can um, click here where it says with like the little power button. And uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. There is like a little power button there. If you click that, it'll bring this window up. Then you can click add host and you'll have this massive window of sort of stuff you've got to fill out but don't worry you won't have to fill it out because I'll show you how to set it up on the Raspberry Pi so we're going to go right across to the system tab click on it then go down to where it says services here and then go up to where it says web server now we're going to create a username and a password so for the username I'm just going to simply type test and then click enter and for the password I'll just type test again just for that now once you've got this uh, filled out that's uh, that's pretty much it, you've, you've set it up so I like to have this and we'll come back to the iPad what we're going to do is instead of writing this all this stuff in which would take ages to find and just take ages to type out we're going to click on this very very handy little button here called find XBMC it will load and you'll see that it's actually filled out. I don't know if how well you can see that, but it's filled out some of the um, some of the criteria for my uh, my Raspberry Pi. All that's left to do is type in the username and the password. Leave the MAC address alone. You do not need to type that in. So I'm just going to go on the username, type in um, oops, type in test, and type test again. And then once you've entered your username and your password, which you can have, you don't have to have a username and password, but I'd recommend it because it just makes it so much more secure. We're going to click save, and you'll see now there is a, um, a Raz XBMC Raspberry M MC a little thing there. So we just don't know what it's done. If we click done, there we go. If we click done to stop the editing, then we can actually select this, and it will start loading, and then we will get. If we click on this remote control um, tab sort of thing here, we will get a full remote control. Now, I'm just going to sort of put this video in the corner so you can see that if I move up and down, it actually does move up and down on the Raspberry Pi, which is very, very handy. So there's a whole range of different things. This goes back, obviously, um, obviously across select, um, but I don't want to ever... I'm going to go back again. This is home, so if you're in loads of menus, you can click that and go home. Then this is this will be like list and stuff. I don't. I ain't really fully um, <laughs> got used to this yet. Cause I ain't really got it a few days ago. So yeah, you can just experiment around with. All, obviously, there's pause and play and everything. So that's been it. You've actually successfully set that up. Now you do not need a keyboard anymore. You can just use this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment if you've got any questions. Uh, give this give this video a thumbs up because it really does help. And subscribe because again it does help. I'll see you guys in the next video which will be how to get AirPlay to work. So yeah, click on the screen now if you want to see how to get AirPlay to work.